Hey, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please uh, subscribe, click like, comment, uh, hit that notification bell. It'll help us out a lot. Okay, today's episode is part two of giving some tips on travel in Thailand. And I ended the last one talking about the ATMs and that I recommend taking out a lot because the ATM charges in Thailand are some of the highest in the world um, per use. So anyways, if you do take out a lot, here's what I do anyway. And I, so I totally recommend this item just for a little of your security. And if, especially if you take out a lot. Okay, so it's a secret money belt. I don't know if you've ever seen them. A lot of people have never heard of it, never seen them. They're not that expensive, about $20, but they're not that easy to find. So I do recommend buying online or just, you know, a shop, in, a travel shop in your home country. So, oh, I don't know if you can see, I'll take off the belt, I'm wearing it. Okay, so it's one of these kind that just goes in like this and you close it like this, very simple. I've had this for over 10 years, you know, this still functions perfect and the zipper still works fine. So what it is on the inside, there's a secret zipper, you see? And then voila, there's local, well, you can have your own currency too. It's kind of good for emergency to carry some US dollars cash in a tight spot, sometimes a land border, sometimes ah, other situations come up. Okay, so you fold up. So what you do is you fold the bill. Around the world, you know, most currencies are approximately the same size. So fold it up into three parts and it goes in there quite easily. Eight will fit comfortably, 10's pushing it, it'll be a little bit bulky and uncomfortable, but eight goes fine and it, it's a long, long zipper. The zipper goes all the way down to here. So that means you can fit one, two, three, four sections times eight, that's 32 bills. If a bill is worth, uh, for example, in Thailand, I do a thousand baht, that's about, a thousand is $30. So if you do 8,000 in one section, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000. Now I'm really telling you my secret, so don't rob me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Um, well, the next, another one I would recommend, I'll recommend just from travel friends, and that's the, the neck pouch that goes under your shirt. Um, some people are comfortable with that. The cool thing about that is you can fit your passport. Um, I don't like to, or sorry, I do travel with my passport, but it's in a separate thing. It's just in my day bag. And I've never had a problem because I'm quite uh, quite safe in places like very crowded markets, very popular public event, especially at night, to just watch your stuff, you know? So here's, okay, here's where I keep my passport, for example, in my car, it's my bank card and credit card. Just a normal day bag, you know, just totally normal. I love a day bag, it's like a giant purse. <laughs> you just put things that come in handy during the day, water, all sorts of stuff. Well, as I just told you, also my passport. So what happens, what I do, just out of habit now, is in a big market, uh, like the big crowded, the crowds, right? That includes train stations and bus stations, if you're walking around much in these areas, just pop it on your front. It's really, it might look a little goofy or something, but it's now you're totally secure. And this is all against pickpockets, right? So, or people that will slash the bottom. And that happened to me and my partner Gina in Nicaragua. They slashed the bottom and got the camera. Uh, Thailand is actually quite safe. It's about 70 million people. Um, and you know, heavy tourism. So of course there is some theft, but violent crime, ugh, it's really super low, but theft does happen. And so you just have to, you know, keep an eye open. 
don't get paranoid. I just, my whole thing is when it's very, very crowded. I mean, some markets can be shoulder to shoulder in certain sections. So yeah, take care in heavy crowds. Now, that's the day bag that a lot of people do, and a lot of people know about that, you know, just do that. You can even just sling it like that, whatever's comfortable. What's nice about it is super easy access for yourself to get in your money, whatever. Now, REC, REC has a little classic, in Canada we say fanny pack. So there's different expressions. Everybody kind of knows them. They, I think they became popular in the 80s and they're making a comeback. So, and, so they're easy to find. Now, what Rec does is she loves it because, you know, it's just the phone and uh, her cards, ID card, bank card, stuff like that. So that size. And she, she wears it like this. That's totally secure. Easy access to where you're shopping, market, whatever. Uh, and very light. That's the bonus of this. Now what's interesting is before I started with the secret money belt, which, you know, I've had this one over 10 years. Um, I, when I first started traveling in countries where pickpockets can be a problem, like 30 years ago, <laughs> first in the beginning travels, I won't pick on any countries about pickpockets. But what I did was I bought a super skinny, cheap, um, fanny pack and I would actually wear it as normal you know because that's what it's des originally designed to do you, you've worn here and I and it was really it was really skinny like this one's pretty thick and the materials thick but what I would do is I would just my skinny this is too big my skinny one would be here and I'd be strapped at the back and that was really secure so I would recommend that because I never got um, I never had any problems and to be fair, as far as, I, I mean, I have a horror story from El Salvador, but that was because the room was broken into when we weren't there and we lost everything, including my passport. So that was, so that's why it's always in the back of my head, you know, don't get robbed, don't get mugged. You know, it's a big pain in the butt replacing these kinds of things. So happy travels, be safe.